Hi guys, I'm Teacher Lore. Welcome back to the second part of your English class. I hope that you are doing well at home and following the health measures. Today we're going to continue with our review of our unit 12 that talks about coastal clean up. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to start giving you some extra information about the coastal clean up day. So it says, over the past few decades, People around the world have been mobilized every year to participate in cleanup activities along beaches, riverbanks, and even underwater. Since the first international beach cleanup organized by members of the Ocean Conservancy in the United States in the late 1980s, cleanup efforts have grown exponentially, with over 100 countries participating each year. Considered as the largest one-day volunteer event, International Coastal Cleanup Day attracts the participation of young people, students, regional and international organizations, government agencies, members of the private sector, non-governmental organizations, and the general public. International Coastal Cleanup Day is traditionally held on the third Saturday in September. Since its inception, the International Coastal Cleanup Movement has successfully drawn people together under one common environmental concern, taking care of our oceans. It seeks to inspire action among individuals, the type of action that will not only be habitable, but will also possibly influence friends, families, and local communities. Beach cleanups are also organized on other commemorative environmental days throughout the year, such as World Wetlands Day, World Environmental Day, and World Ocean Day. And, collectively, they help to build networks of environmentally conscious individuals who seek to bring about positive changes in their communities, cities, and countries. Well, guys, now it's time for our first exercise. All right, guys, as you may remember, the dynamic we're following where we are answering the exercises on the video is to take out your notebook and write down all the exercises. It's important for you because it's going to help you to review for your exam. So, instruction one says, complete the summary with the words in the boxes. The words we have are dangerous, Philippines, protect, volunteers, beaches, organization, and every year. So, the summary we may, we may or need to complete is Ocean Conservancy is an blank that holds the International Coastal Cleanup event blank. Some of the biggest participating countries are the United States, Canada, and the blank. More than half a million blank around the world help to clean up the blank in their countries. The volunteers sometimes find blank items while collecting trash. To blank themselves, they wear special clothes. At one of the locations, volunteers collect more than 1,000 kilograms of trash in just 90 minutes. Okay guys, now it's time for you to pause this video and take the enough time for you to complete the summary. And when you're finished, you may play the video again so we may check the answers all together. Okay guys, now it's time for checking our answers. It says, Ocean Conservancy is an organization that holds the International Coastal Cleanup event every year. Some of the biggest participating countries are the United States, Canada, and the Philippines. More than half a million Volunteers around the world help to clean up the beaches in their countries. The volunteers sometimes find dangerous items while collecting trash. To protect themselves, they wear special clothes. At one of the locations, volunteers collect more than 1,000 kilograms of trash in just 90 minutes. Okay, guys, this is the end of our first exercise. Guys, you did an amazing job on the previous exercise, but now it's time for our second one. Instruction says, 
Circle T for true or and F for false. Number one, only children clean up beaches. This is true or false. Number two, these people are paid money to pick up trash. True or false? Number three, the main goal is to make beaches beautiful again. True or false? And the last one, some of the trash can be dangerous to pick up. True or false? Alright guys, now you know, you may pause the video in order for you to take enough time to answer these exercises and when you finish, you can play it again. Okay, now it's time for checking. Number one says, only children clean up beaches. The correct answer is false. Number two, these people are paid money to pick up trash. This is false. Number three, the main goal is to make beaches beautiful again. This is true. And the last one, some of the trash can be dangerous to pick. This is true. Right guys, you did an excellent job. Now it's time for our next exercise. Great, now it's time for our third exercise. It says, complete the sentence using going to. Number one, these teenagers, blank, clean up the beaches in their area. Number two, this girl, uh, blank, put trash in her plastic bag. Number three, these boys, blank, pick up cigarettes. Number four, this volunteer, blank, Take full trash bags to a garbage dump. Number five, these volunteers blank clean the beach. Great, now uh, pause the video, take your time, and then we are going to check the answers. Excellent. Number one, these teenagers are going to clean up the beaches in the area. Number two, this girl is going to put trash in her plastic bag. Number three, these boys are going to pick up cigarettes. Number four, this volunteer is going to take full trash bags to a garbage dump. Number five, and last one, these volunteers are going to clean the beach. Well done, guys. Now it's time for our next exercise. Marvelous! Now it's time for our third and last exercise of today's class. It says complete the sentences using the words from the box. The words we have are coastline, collecting, flow, protect, and volunteer. The sentences we may complete are number one, many rivers blank to the sea. Number two, I am a blank at my school. I pick up trash. Number three. The school is blank money to pay for a new library. Number four. You should wear special clothing to blank yourself. And the last one. Alaska has long blank. A lot of the state's land is next to the ocean. Okay, guys, so pause the video and then you play it again for you to check the answers. Great, now it's time for checking our answers. It says, many rivers flow to the sea. Number two, AMA volunteer at my school. I pick up trash. Number three, the school is collecting money to pay for a new library. Number four, you should wear special clothing to protect yourself. And the last one, Alaska has long coastline. A lot of the state's land is next to the ocean. Well, guys, this is the end of today's class. I hope that you enjoyed while you were watching these videos and continue to continue improving your English skills. See you next class.